Mark Rogers TV doing a series that we like to do each college football offseason where we look at each uh, program and look at uh, who's going to be replacing the stars. The impact players are gone. Who's going to step in? Who are some of the younger players to fill the gaps? We bring in Hunter Cook of Viva the Matador on the SB Nation platform as always. And uh, Hunter, fortunately, from a 4-8 and football team that only won two games in conference, you don't lose a whole lot of impact talent. Uh, we talked about the quarterback position in an earlier video, so I'm going to size up a few guys here, and uh, you let us know who we can look out for this fall to to step up. So you lose a big one in Bradley Marquez, uh, 65 catches, 10 touchdowns last year at wide receiver, 155 career receptions. So who's going to fill the void there? Absolutely. And I don't know if you can necessarily replace a guy like Bradley Marquez or if we even want to replace him with someone else of his type. It seems like last year we all of our receivers fulfilled a certain type of mold. They were all very possession-oriented receivers. With the exception of Jakeem Grant, none of them really had that breakout speed, that height, that size that we really wanted to just – score points really quick and that's not saying Bradley Marquez could not do it it's just that first and foremost he was a possession oriented receiver we got a guy coming in by the name of J.F. Thomas from I believe it's South Oak Cliff dude is 6'4 180 pounds I mean that size that he's going to give us on the edge is going to be huge Cliff's already said that he could come in and start immediately there's just no limit uh, to what he can do. And adding some size out there, especially juxtaposed with, you know, 5'6", Jakeem Grant, you have 6'4", JF. We're going to – we definitely needed the height, and I'm glad we picked him up. Okay, Hunter, let's talk some defense here. Uh, you, you gave up a ton of points, a ton of yardage, but you did have a couple nice linebackers in Sammy Quavin and also a VJ Fahoko, who uh, signed a free agent deal with the Cleveland Browns. Uh, Iquabin, 75 tackles. That was second on the team. Five and a half tackles for loss. Fahoko, a Utah transfer, who was uh, third on the team in tackles. So a lot of tackles lost from those two linebackers. Mm -hmm. And that is a huge amount of volume. Fortunately, I feel like we got some guys that can step right in and play and not miss a beat. If not fill that position even better. Obviously, the Utah or Utah Ohio State transfer, five-star linebacker. His nickname up there was Mr. Spark because he has um, Nike Spark Combine like record for rating. Like his athleticism is very literally off the charts. If we can get him uh, to learn the defense, get him settled down here in Lubbock. He could not only make an immediate impact, he could very potentially be an All-American. This is He's not a once-in-a-generation type talent, but he is the type of talent that he will go in the NFL draft regardless of if he has 10 tackles a season or if he has 100 tackles a season. He is simply has the tools. He has the potential. Can he fulfill it? The other, uh, other linebacker that's going to be replacing, um, I believe, Sam and as Mitchell's going to be replacing for Hoko, um, is Micah Awe. Now, Micah Awe played for us in a couple spots last year. He really got after it at a couple points, had a huge, huge hit um, against TCU, picked off a pass, uh, took one off Mahomes in the spring game, which is obviously pretty good. He's, he's a fairly solid quarterback, and Taking one, uh, taking an interception off our de off our offense isn't you know the easiest thing sometimes. Micah's really, really stepped it up, and he's steadily improved every year. He hasn't had a necessary necessarily a breakout yet, but he definitely could be headed towards something like that this year. Okay, good stuff. Texas Tech at uh, four and eight last year, trying to get back to that usual seven or eight win uh, spot to, to get back to postseason play. So we bring in uh, Hunter Cook to break it down for us from Viva the Matador. Hunter, uh, we appreciate the time you taking some time out of your 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 spring here to set us up for uh, summer camp. Anytime, it's my pleasure.